we're in the middle of Holy Week, and uh, there's a lot of holy days in Holy Week. There's Palm Sunday, and then on the other end, Easter Sunday. Of course, there's Good Friday when Jesus died. There's Maundy Thursday when Jesus gave us the Lord's Supper. But in between Maundy Thursday and Palm Sunday, there's actually some uh, very exciting things that happen in Jesus' ministry. Most of what happens in the, the books of the Bible about Jesus, the Gospels, happens in this one week. And there's a bunch of things that happen with money in this week. So on the, one of the days uh, of the week, Jesus went into the temple and he saw people selling things and, and overcharging people who were trying to worship at God's temple. So Jesus turned over the tables of the money changers. There were little coins that went scattering around. It would be coins that people would use to pay for, uh, for, their, for the things they needed to sacrifice, the animals they needed to sacrifice. Then another day, um, people came and asked Jesus if they should pay taxes to Caesar. And, and Jesus said, yes, yes, you should give to Caesar what is Caesar's. And he had a coin that had a picture of the Caesar, uh, the, their governor on it. And then Judas paid money, 30 silver coins, to betray Jesus. You know what all these money things have in common? Jesus and God, our, Jesus' Father, want us to use money to praise God and to glorify God. We can use money at church, but we shouldn't make church all about money. That's what Jesus taught those people who were selling things. We can use our money to pay taxes and take care of the country that we live in and the family around us. That's one way we can glorify God with our money, by using it wisely. And some people put money above Jesus, like Judas did. We never want to do that. We want to love Jesus most and use our money to serve Jesus. There are some good lessons for us to learn about money, but here's what I want you to notice. All that week and all his life, Jesus used money perfectly. He did use his money to glorify God. He did pay his taxes to Caesar, and he allowed himself to be betrayed because he did not value money more than he valued saving us. Jesus did a lot of wonderful things for us, including the things he did with money. Let's pray about it. Dear Jesus, thank you for using wealth wisely. Help us to do the same so that we can honor you and so that more and more people can hear about the way you saved us. We thank you for the gift of money. Help us use it well. Amen.